Hi. Uh, what is keeping you from your dreams? Hmm? I can't hear you. There's probably something, right? That's some kind of roadblock. Whether it's something internal or it's something external, there's something holding you back. It's possible to overcome this. There has to be a way, right? I know it's frustrating. I know it's easy to kind of want to give up and be like, eh, I'm going to go the safe option. I'm not going to pursue my dreams anymore. This is too tricky. This is a little too hard. I can't beat this thing. But guess what? You can. I literally don't know what you're thinking right now. But whatever this obstacle is, it can be overcome. There are other people who have conquered this in the past. Research can be your best friend here, right? If you're having trouble feeling motivated, look that up. You know, ways to motivate yourself. Um, let's say you're having trouble with a specific creative process, a specific step of the process. Like, I can come up with characters, but I have trouble with plot. Have you tried researching it? Hopefully you have. Hopefully you've already done this research step. But step number one would be just research it, you know? This is how you can help yourself overcome any problem. So after you've done research, what do you do? Well, I would say it depends on the specifics of the situation. But effort is almost definitely going to be required, right? Come up with some kind of solution, something that would help, even if you don't know how to get there. Like, let's use that same example. Let's say I don't know how to write a plot, I'm good with the characters, but I have no idea how to do plot. So you research it, find something out, like um, maybe just drawing a general story arc is helpful. So that's your first step. You need to start with that. And in order to do that, you have to put effort into this thing, right? If it's a problem you've been like running into again and again, it can be really frustrating realizing like, oh, I have to run into that thing again. That's not very fun. But it can be because, think about this, you could overcome that problem today. Isn't that crazy? This thing might have been on your mind for the past, you know, several hours, several days, several weeks, or even several years. And you could finish it within the next day or two. And then you get to move on to the next difficult problem. After doing your research, after putting effort into it, what if I'm still not successful? What if I go back and watch this video in a few days, and I'm like, you know what? I still didn't make it through. This problem still exists. Well, you can start back over at step one. Research again. There are other people out there who have tried the same exact fix. They tried the same first and second step, and that didn't work. So let's start back over with step number one. Do research again. And you could even include more details in your research. Details about what you've already tried, right? It's kind of like troubleshooting your technology. You know, if your phone is having some kind of problem, you try to fix it the first way, and then you're still having problems. So you research it, and you say, well, I already tried this, but how do I make it work? Then you'll get more clear results, right? By including your past history, it helps you narrow in on your actual fix, the correct way to fix the problem. So. You can always go back to research, right? Include more details in your research or just dig a little bit deeper. But going through all these results are gonna require step number two again, effort, right? It's not gonna be easy. You don't want it to be easy, really. Because if it was easy, anyone could do it. If it was easy, you wouldn't learn anything from it. And you wanna grow as a person. You wanna be better. You wanna level up your stats. Something that might help motivate you during this whole process is to realize that there will be a day when you are what you want to be. You know, you can actually make it happen. You can literally be what you want to be, but it's going to take, like I said, research and effort. And that's almost it. It's a very simple recipe. In most cases, that can get you there. Effort can take many forms, and research can take many forms, right? Think about the different ways you can research something. You can look it up online, you can get a book, you can talk to friends and family about it, and once you've put it out there in the world, you know, social media or physical people that you know, um, once you've talked about this problem, they might find solutions. Maybe they'll say, you know, hey, I saw this thing on TV the other day, or I found this YouTube video that might be helpful to you, or even, hey, happy birthday, I got you this book that helps you solve the same problem that I know you've been struggling with. It's really helpful to actually be honest about your, your issues that you're running into. Um, for one thing, it means that you're actually pursuing your dreams. 
Can you imagine if one of your friends came to you and said, I'm working on making this video game and I keep running into this problem, right? Most of us would be like, you're trying to make a video game? That is like the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's amazing. So then being open and honest about this problem helps you to be aware that I have a friend who's working on creating something and they're running into an issue. I want to help them with that, right? It can not only help to motivate you because you get to share your work with your, your family and friends and your, your social network by saying, hey, I'm working on this thing. And then you've got these people saying, there's someone interesting in my life. I want to help them. You know what I mean? So you could suddenly be that cool person with the interesting new thing that you're working on. It's great. There's always new different ways you can approach things as well, you know, trying some, some brainstorming activities or trying to start in a totally different place. If you're trying to write that plot and you're having a lot of problems with the beginning, maybe start with the ending. Maybe start with the, the middle. There's all kinds of exercises for this. And again, it all goes back to that first step of research. If you're saying, um, I need help with the beginning of the plot. Like, how do I write the first sentence of a story? Sounds like something you could research. How do I write the final chapter of a story? Sounds like something you could research. There are other people who have struggled with this problem or something nearly identical, and they've even come up with a solution enough to write an article about this, write a blog post about this, make a video about this, right? They feel confident in their solution. It worked for them, so it could work for other people. It's people sharing their stuff. Like, I feel passionately about this, that it needs to be shared, and that's why it's there. So the whole kind of self-help community and tutorial community, it's there to help people get from where you are to where you want to be. It's pretty amazing.